All right, so now we're going to talk about one-to-one -one functions. Okay, so what exactly is a one-to-one -one function? Well, here's the note. A function f is a one-to-one -one function if for elements a and b from the domain of f, your two elements that you choose from the domain are not the same elements, and that implies that their corresponding y values are not the same elements. Okay, so in other words, if you take two different x values, you get two different y values, always. If that always happens, then you have a one-to-one -one function. Okay, so graphically, so let's take a line. All right, for every x value, you know, take an x value, there's only one y value that corresponds to that x value. Okay, and for every y value, no matter what y value you take, there's only one x value that corresponds to that y value. Everybody see that? All right, so if you take one x value, there's only one y value that corresponds to it. But also, if you take one y value, no matter what y value that is, there's only one x value that corresponds with that one y value to give you points that lie on your graph. Okay, try this one. Okay. If you take one x value, there's only one y value, great, then that just means it's a function. But also, no matter what y value you take, there's only one x value that corresponds to it. You can't find one y value that has two x values that correspond to it. Right? That would be something like, say, this situation, okay? where this one y value right here has this x value that corresponds to it, and this x value that corresponds to it, and this x value that corresponds to it. Everybody see that? There's more um, than one x value that corresponds to each y value. Okay? It's still a function in terms of you take one x value, there's only one y value that corresponds to that one particular x value. But now we're thinking about it the other way as well. If you take one y value, there needs to be only one x value that corresponds to it um, in addition. And if that happens, then you have a one-to-one -one function. Okay. Now there is a, an easy way to figure this out, and it's called the horizontal line test. Every horizontal line intersects the graph of a function at no more than one point, then the function is one-to-one. -one. So picture your line again. Okay. So. Is the graph a function? Yes, it passes the vertical line test. Is the graph a one-to-one -one function? Well, now you picture horizontal lines. And as you draw horizontal lines, they only hit your graph one time, so therefore this is a one-to-one -one function. And we abbreviate that notation saying one-to-one, one-to-one. -one, one -one. Okay? If you have, say, um, our, our square root function again, okay? it is a function, it passes the vertical line test. Now what about the horizontal line test? Well, if you draw horizontal lines, each horizontal line only hits your graph one time, so yes, it's a one-to-one -one function. But that's that third one we did there, is this the graph of a function? Yes, it's the graph of a function. Is it the graph of a one-to-one -one function? No, because you can find one horizontal line that intersects your graph more than one time. Okay, so this is not one-to-one. -one. But in order for a function to be one-to-one, -one, it has to be a function to begin with. So in other words, you, this thing right here, sure, it passes the horizontal line test, but it was never a function to begin with, so it's not a one-to-one -one function. Follow me? It has to be a function to begin with and before it has any chance at all of being a one-to-one -one function. Okay, so it has to pass the vertical line test first and then the horizontal line test second. Make sense? All right, that leads into the next video on inverse functions. Study well, and please let me know if you have any questions.